Alright, ladies, we are on our last run, or last strip of soybeans here. And wasn't yielding too bad. I mean, the map says it is, but it is what it is. Got a lot of work going on on the farm. I gotta get some bales wrapped for some silage, and the other one's picked up, put away for the upcoming cows and whatnot. And then, uh, right away, we are going to switch from soybeans into corn and go get our, uh, or my cornfield opened up it's on the other side of the map. It's a little bit of a drive, but not too bad. I should probably pressure wash this thing off before I, uh, take her across. Clean off the windows at least. And then I gotta switch over my auger which I ended up buying uh, a Westfield 94 foot auger with the swing out. And you guys will see why eventually but I gotta switch around my uh, bend complex there. do this dang washout. Sure I get everything. Ooh, I think we got some air on that one. Round them up. It's going to take a little bit. I guess I got some maintenance and fuel to do. So, yeah, we can get it all done, though. Shouldn't take long. My auger wagon's just sitting right up here. Hopefully I got enough room left on it, but it, eh, I don't know if it looks like we will or not. I didn't think the last strip there would be that much. Oh, lost some off the back. Good thing it caught it in time. All right. I don't see any cars. We're just gonna whip her right out there. We'll figure it out when they come at us. Good time to just sit back, take a drink, and relax for a little bit. I think I'm just going to have to drop the bean head right in front of the shop for now. We'll get it when we get a combine back from corn harvest. Rumor has it is there's another John Deere combine out there that I'll have to go look at come fall. I should, excuse me, winter. It is fall. What am I saying? Drop the header right there.
Alright, quickly I'm going to wash the window off and throw some grease at it quick. Hopefully the pressure washer hose reaches. Ah, uh, close. Throw that back there. Oh, that ain't working. Oh, shucks. Wonder why that's not working. Throw some fuel in it quick and get it right out on the road. And then we'll come back and take care of that uh, grain setup. some fuel on it quick. Got about half full. I'll have to get the fuel man out here to get the other part, and I turned the wrong way to get the corn header. Had a brain fart there, trying to talk to you guys. And for those of you that have not seen Hannah in Indiana yet, this will be a great time to see part of the map here. So I hope you stay tuned for it. And we'll do a nice 19 mile an hour drive down one of the roads in Hannah, Indiana. As long as I don't rip the mirror lighter off. Wrong button. Nope, I'm going to rip the header off instead. Better pay attention to both sides. only an 8 row, we should fit down the road pretty decent. Might have to hug the shoulder a little farther than I want sometimes, but we'll see how bad traffic is today. And as of right now, we are still on the countryside. There's a little store and co-op area and a couple other buildings up there a ways. And then we got to swing by the store and also get my semi, which I haven't decided if I'm going to hurry up and turn around and do some tillage with my 8410 or if I am just going to leave her on the auger wagon right now.
but I'll zoom out and get you guys a good view of it. The NPC players are in the middle of the line and all that fancy stuff, so that's why you see the white. Coming up on an irrigation pivot here. Nice feature. And you can see it in the distance, the co-op and everything. So, pretty much where I got it run to. It'll take a bit, but... At least you get to see like the drainage ditches and the few trees and everything that are, are on the map. And then the buildings that just came into sight there to the right, that's another farm. And there's the drainage ditch that actually has some water in it. A couple of the other ones, not quite. Well, I think Brooker got some corn done. Left this tractor and cart in the field just like me. Alright, I gotta fix my camera. Sometimes it gets stuck like this. So now I can turn. Oh, he's got a two wheel drive out there. Nice. They might have turned the can uh, traffic off on this, but yes, there is traffic. Wait a second. Did he really put that in there? sign gives it away a little bit. Alright, while we're going down the road, I'm going to fix this combine because it's bothering the crap out of me. Ah, da -da -da -da. Where? Zero. Oh, I didn't want where I wanted damage. There we go. That's the only bet you're going to see because obviously our service box does not work for whatever reason. But that is Brucker's farm there with a nice tree lane. And then we come across these uh, railroad tracks here. And we'll get into a more of a wooded area. Yes, there's pivots in more than just one field. That's the pivot you see out there along the lime white area. Bounce across those rough things. Then my field is 2829 in the left corner there. Oh, well, left, middle, whatever. 
We'll be coming up on it here soon, just off of the highway. Some grass areas for mowing and whatnot. And all I'm going to do is pop in here, take this corner out, and make a rip down. We'll see how well the end row is yielding here. pretty dry that's all I gotta say that is not a good sign maybe it'll get better as we get into it oh yeah I forgot to turn my blinker off I'm already in the field don't worry about me as long as I don't back into that ditch, we'll be just fine. Oh, missing a row. Oh darn it, what happened here? That's a good question. Can't remember all the way back to spring when I was planting this, but we're just going to run with it. I think uh, I lost a couple end rows out there, to tell you the truth, but. I don't know the best way to get rid of those vermin out there that eat my seed all the time. Every year. See, just like that. That's two rows now. I might have to grab some different seed. Something with better uh, pesticide insecticide on it. We'll get it cleaned up when we turn around up here and come back the next we're out. Not too bad. 72 bushel already for an 8 row. That's not too bad. Once I get towards this end, we can just walk right to the shop there where I got my Peterbilt delivered along with a nice 42 foot hopper bottom that I found at auction. And yes, I had them delivered because. I ain't got time for that. It was an online auction, so we're good with it. Before we look at the map here, I just want to take a bit off this end and get swung around.
Alright. Oh, let's get straightened out here. And this is where she's going to sit for a bit. While we go get the semi. Just a quick little jog over there. I know the video is already pretty long, but I'll show you guys the semi. Alright, there she is. I just got to go around the fence. And, uh... Get that all hooked up and whatnot, and then... Probably end of the video for today. But I got a lot of work to do and a lot more videos to make, so... Not a bad looking truck. Let's see if we can get this thing hooked up. The first shot. Gonna be tight squeeze. Nailed it. Alright. Hoses, electrical, and all that's hooked up. Alright. Let's rock. It sounds good, too. Sounds healthy. I like that jig break. Might as well just not even make it a switch because she's going to stay on all the time. Probably get chastised for this, but we're taking out some corn. Get the electric tarp opened up. Not quite right. Close. But there we sit, guys. Now you see what I got going on for corn harvest, so... I'll get a couple more videos made of it, but I just gotta get everything rounded up and ready to go. Thanks for watching.